Alright guys, you want to see an example of Chandler biting off a little more than he can chew, I think this might be it. So you might find this video pretty funny. So if you watched my last video, I was hammering up some straps for a table and today I'm trying to get the legs done. And the concept here is that I have to take both sides of that 12 inch by 36 inch piece, a quarter inch flat, and uh, hammer, put a hammer finish on it. That's bigger than anything I've ever done. And what I did to give myself a work surface, I laid this, um, I don't know, half inch plate down on the floor and I think I can hammer on that, but I don't, won't know. I don't know nothing right now. Let me show you where I am at. I built myself a little bit of a forge to heat that up. There's no way I can get the heat I need out of that thing um, uh, for that thing on my little forge. So I know this is a redneck kind of approach, but uh, my original hope was to put two wheat burners in there and, and uh, use double the heat, but uh, they kept blowing each other out. There's something about airflow inside of uh, in a forge like that. So there's obviously got to be some air that can escape in order for that wheat burner to work. So I do have a couple of venting things going on, but let me pull this end off. I'll show you what's going on on the inside. thing right here outside so I'm thinking of moving my plate from inside the shop to right here outside problem is with this damn Sun the minute I pull anything red out I'm gonna lose its color and I, I kind of need that to know what the hell I am I don't need it but I want it so I'm gonna see if I can make a little shape area here and then build the, uh, bring that plate out so we'll let this cook and uh, I don't know what you're gonna see in this video today but I should get an E for effort anyway Hey guys, here's one of those, you know, you don't know nothing until you try it, so I know you're all screaming at me, but I did put some sleeves on, I'm doubling up my gloves a little bit here, no idea whether that's going to help or not, no doubt about it. I think I'm going to be losing my beard in this process, I'm afraid that's the, what's going to happen, these gloves don't fit very well, I'll have to find another outside glove, no doubt these things are going to be on, so... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a test run. I, it's not where I want it in, in temperature, but I don't even know if I can move the damn thing by myself. This is definitely a two-man job, so come on along for this journey. job at I'm screwed Long for this journey uh, I just got a little color in the middle now you guys want to see take two I'm gonna tape the whole thing you guys have to sit here and watch it I bet you this turns out to be 10 hours hey hammer holy crap but I'll show you one more and then we'll go You can see it, it is happening way too slow. All right, what have I learned? Sometimes no is a better answer. Uh, that plate that I'm hammering on, not gonna work because 
with a hammer I'm deforming the steel. I'm not strong enough with one person to keep flipping it and keeping everything square. So uh, I actually had a request recently to have an example with the new anvil. I think I'm going to pull it out there and see if I can manhandle that son of a gun. Two people, that's what I need. I don't know, we'll see. We'll keep trying. children. Am I man enough to do this? The answer is fucking no. <laughs> the answer is no. Uh, I think I gotta go get an air chisel and uh, and make up uh, a nose for that. I think it's the right thing to do. I just hope I can get the right texture that I want out of it. Hopefully I can get this thing down a little quicker. Alright, so I made a decision. I picked up an air hammer, picked up an inch and seven eighths ball, rounded the end off, hopefully close enough to that rounding hammer that I had. Took the, um, took a chisel, basically what I did is I cut off the, uh, the bolt part of the ball, drilled a hole down through the center, welded in one of the chisels from a, a chisel set for this thing. I think that'll do the trick. Actually, the only question I have left now is, do I go back to the plate? Or do I stay with the anvil? With the anvil, I have to hold the piece and try to manipulate it with the plate. I think I can lay it flat. So we're going to try to plate first. All right, guys, here you go. It's nothing, man. Here goes nothing. If you can see it or not, but I think a combination of the two is a good way to go. Missing an eyebrow. I opened the door before I turned the floor off. This changed my show up. Not, I burned myself, but I kind of smelt that burning hair. Anyway, we're more than halfway done on the first one.
That'll make you a man. Or a woman. All right, it's possible this might be the last one. There it is, children. Ready for wire, uh, wire brushing and wax. Both freaking sides. So I'm gonna hit it quick with the wire brush and uh, we'll get some wax on it and hope we'll be done. All right, we finally got her straightened up. Straight as it's gonna be, I think. It's ready for some wax. I think it's the right temperature. Hopefully not too hot, because I don't want that thing blowing up my face. I've already lost enough whiskers for one day. Give her a coating and see what happens. See what happens. Just in case she goes, I'm gonna keep my face out of it. That's plenty of wax. Okay, rub that in with my cloth. Perfect temperature. Get these edges good. Yeah, she'll cook that in good. Flip this over once. Get the back side. Let that cook a little bit and I'll wipe it down again and I'll show you the finished product. There you guys, there you have it. Boy, I'll tell you. That son of a gun was a lot of work. I'm glad I don't know how much I uh, quoted this for, but oh well. I'll tell you, I spent more time trying to figure out what to make or how to make it than, I, than actually making it. So that's it, one's done. Thank God. Sad news is tomorrow we get to start all over again. So, give it side by side. Huh? Not bad. Not bad. All right, I'm sure. I'll, right, I'm sure I'll uh, show you this final product when he when he gets all put together. Man, what a job! What a job! All right, no job's too big, right? Or no job's too stupid, Chandler, uh, something like that. All right, next time. Thanks. Uh, once again, I interrupt this video ending to uh, to uh, show you what I did the second day. Um, since I didn't get the video edited and put up, my machine was giving me grief. I was able to hammer out that second one today, and I got all the long stock hammered up today. All I got left on this project, look at that shit. Can you imagine holding that and trying to hammer that by hand on the anvil? Holy kamales, who needs a freaking power hammer? I don't even know, I haven't even done research on like hammering round stock and stuff like that on a power hammer, if that's something that you can do easily. Because you know, you really want that texture in there. But that stuff's soaking in heat right now and I'm gonna heat it up some more and we're gonna wax it. And this project's done. I am exhausted today, that's a crap load of hammering. You get one of those plates and the rest of that steel done. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, certainly, I don't know, uh, it can be done. Can it be done by one man? I guess so. But that's when you still gotta start thinking about tools or help. Having somebody just hold that stock while I was hammering, you know, the long shit, because I'm reaching back and hammering and trying to keep things straight, but yeah, when poor man, I can't even pay me. How am I gonna pay somebody else? So, take care, catch you on the next one. Thanks for your support. Again, I'm going to have a Fort Sight chat coming up pretty soon, let you know what's been going on lately. Take care.